Hi everybody, Joe Fernandez here, and I'll be discussing 5 big reasons why TSG is OP. 8.1 has brought with it the rise of TSG, being a very popular ladder comp, able to slaughter most of the competition. Today I'll be going over through the point of view of Cervantes, a competitor who's appeared at multiple European regionals, as well as BlizzCon 2017. He's been a dominant Death Knight main on the EU scene and plays this class to its maximum as well as performing well as TSG. These 5 pointers are big reasons as to why TSG is OP but aren't in any particular order. Number 1. Insane Consistent Pressure Both Arms Warrior and Unholy Death Knights have a lot of consistent pressure for multiple or single targets. Due to their passive damage as well as their added effects of Mortal Strike and Necrotic Strike, this makes it extremely difficult for most healers to passively heal through even when not targeted. Here we see the TSG tunneling down a destruction warlock which has increased armor helping to tank physical damage more. However with a grip on the lock behind the pillar, followed by a stormer on the shaman to stop him from healing the warlock, Even after the CC on the Shaman with two big chain heals, they drop the lock again instantly, forcing a defensive coil on both DPS. This crazy passive pressure comes even more difficult to deal with when on top of the healer due to the plethora amount of interrupts the TSG has. The TSG here are tunneling down the Holy Priest, forcing him to not cast. With Necrotic Strikes as well as Mortal Strike, not casting heals eventually makes it too unbearable for the healer to stay alive. As you can see, it's important to keep up with your constant pressure, hitting targets that are relatively easy to stick on, so that you can increase your insane consistent pressure, being a big win condition against most enemy teams. At number 2, Crazy Burst. TSG has a number of cooldowns that increases their burst damage immensely. These are Unholy Frenzy, Apocalypse, Avatar, Bladestorm, Warbreaker, and Way of the Crane. During these cooldowns and heavy uptime, the TSG can do Crazy Burst, forcing defensive cooldowns or even going through them. Against this Destruction Warlock, even though an Earthen Tome is down, the DK pops Unholy Frenzy and the Mistweaver uses Way of the Crane, absolutely crushing the Warlock through his big defensive cooldown whilst interrupting the enemy Shaman from healing. This forces the Spirit Link Totem from the Shaman already going through two powerful defensive cooldowns. This burst pressure can take many teams by surprise as you're able to go through defensive cooldowns and grab kills like this if you don't get peeled. This makes it incredibly hard for healers to deal with this when they are reliant on their cooldowns to save them. Bursting with your healer's way of the crane and stuns on your target is the biggest way to force defensive cooldowns or grab kills on your target. In this example, we see a Resta Druid being the target being prepared from the swap by bear forming and using frenzied regeneration. He then comes out to pre ironbark the stun go on himself. However, due to the way of the crane and the multiple stuns on the druid in caster form, he simply falls to this crazy burst even through ironbark. Another example of this is against a Disc Priest. With a stun at 50% and Unholy Frenzy up, they are able to force Pain Suppression and crush through it, forcing Rapture from the Disc as well. Note that during Way of the Crane, the Monk will usually do an immense amount of healing, which can enable your Warrior to use Battle Stance and stay in it in order to maximize this effect and add to your Crazy Burst. As you can see, this is a nightmare for healers to deal with, which leads us to our third reason why TSG is OP. Number 3. Destroying Healers Healers have a painfully difficult task when it comes to dealing with TSG depending on the comps they play. When TSG has high uptime, 
a good rotation of interrupts, stuns, and having good pressure, they can destroy any healer in the game. The TSG coordinates a swap onto the Mistweaver with offensive cooldowns with a leg sweep into Asphyxiate, forcing nearly every single defensive cooldown the Mistweaver Monk has in one single offensive go. One healer in particular has an increasingly difficult time against this composition, being a priest. Priests are an easy target as they cannot kite any melee as well as disc shields not being a great answer to deal with the necrotic strikes. It's very difficult for them to heal through this pressure and by rotating kicks on their different schools of healing, as well as swapping with stuns and offensive cooldowns, you can annihilate holy or disciplined priests quickly. Against this high RMP, Gelu Barber immediately sheeps Cervantes during his stun, but the disc still drops to around half HP due to Way of the Crane and the Warrior's pressure. When the DK connects, they force Pain Suppression as well as Rapture and are still able to kill him through it. Again here, after the Dome of Light fades, Rapture is forced, yet the TSG destroys the disc through this. Stunning him low on HP, which forces the Pain Suppression, yet they can still grab a kill through this cooldown, as he's already low on HP. You can even slay Discipline Priests through heals with good uptime and interruption. This composition completely counters Discipline Priests and makes them an incredible target for the TSG. Even Hydra can't manage the power of the TSG, getting gripped out of his dome and kicked on a penance, resolving to spamming Shadow Mens. He manages to get 3 off but simply dies through his 4th channel due to the crazy pressure of TSG. Number 4, Extremely Durable. TSG can be very tanky against most compositions. All targets are passively hard to kill and can make themselves more durable. DKs have high armor as well as death strike which gives strong passive self healing. Arms warriors also have high armor but instead of self healing have defensive stance reducing all pressure on them by 20%. Mistweaver monks are actually not too passively tanky, but due to their many strong cooldowns on a low cooldown and immense mobility to kite most melee DPS, makes them extremely difficult to kill. In this example, we see the Mistweaver being put into a bash whilst the enemy Ellie Shaman uses his Stormkeeper. Cervantes uses his AMS, absorbing an incredible amount of magic damage allowing his healer to easily heal him. Usually, as a rule of thumb, you'd want to be passive when not making offensive goes with stuns or if you aren't riding off momentum, so you can reduce incoming pressure constantly. Then, when dealing with offensive cooldowns, like we just saw with Stormkeeper, you can use defensive cooldowns, making it difficult for the enemy team to kill you. Number 5. Incredibly Disruptive TSG has many interrupts. That's mainly used to disrupt healers from getting their casts off in order to have an easier win condition. Not only can you rotate interrupts between the warrior and DK, but you also have access to death grip, fear, pet kick, and multiple stuns to interrupt heals. So here we see the enemy shaman pushing in for a hex, most likely knowing that the DK's mind freeze is on cooldown. However, Cervantes uses his pet interrupt to stop his hex. Then, when the Shaman tries to heal, he death grips it, forcing out the Earthen Wall Totem. Later on, we see a full fear being secured by Nerd Rage on the Shaman with no trinket whilst going for a kill attempt on the lock. The Shaman gets one heal off and tries to cast during a Mortal Coil on Cervantes. However, Cervantes uses his pet interrupt to stop the cast then uses his pet stun after 
to secure a kill on the Destruction Warlock. Make sure to communicate well with your teammates who can interrupt casts so that you avoid overlaps and wasting them. Doing this well with your partner on the right targets at the right time is the difference between the best TSGs that are able to dismantle teams when they interrupt well. These summarizes the 5 reasons as to why TSG is OP. Doing all of these 5 things well will lead to the decimation of teams where you can maintain great uptime for consistent pressure, have crazy burst attempts to slaughter enemies through defensive cooldowns, and be incredibly disruptive to make sure you stop healers casting in order to create a bigger chance to guarantee a kill. Here we can see multiple of these reasons come into play very early in a game. First, we see a death grip into Asphyxia on the Disc Priest, which means the TSG wants to destroy the healer and do a crazy burst attempt on the Disc Priest. The Disc preemptively domes the stun, but Ring of Peace gets him out of it, disrupting his defensive cooldown. The Mug comes in with Way of the Crane as well as interrupting the Penance, destroying the healer who barely survives with the use of Pain Suppression and Rapture. Due to the consistent pressure, Mortal Strike and Necrotic Strike, the Priest doesn't even take down the Necrotic with one whole penance. He then gets Death Gripped on his Shadow Mend and falls to the Warrior's pressure. So that's all we have for this guide on 5 reasons why TSG is OP. Hope you guys enjoyed this guide, feel free to leave comments or questions down below and as always make sure to plus skill this guide. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next guide.